lads, welcome back to Fusion YGO. Today, we are going to be showing off a very special deck. This deck is, well, we have a montage um, of how the deck works. Christian, could you roll the footage, please? Yes, you just saw. We are going to be abusing chickens. Look, it's Fire King. You abuse a baby chicken. It, it is what it is, man. Look, it's just what the deck does. You just beat up a chicken. It didn't do nothing, but it knows what it did. So, let's check out this deck profile and show you how explosive it can be. I am playing Fire King Tri Brigade. Sinful spoils, it's a mouthful. Um, I'll go over the side deck and some things you can do in it when we get to the side deck. But we're going to go through the whole thing right now. Uh, and explain the abuse of a baby chicken. So, starting off with two copies of Sacred Fire King Garunix. Uh, this card is like the heartbeat of the deck, but it's not the linchpin. Uh, this card allows you to destroy cards from the deck or hand, any fire monster, which can matter, uh, depending on how your hands work out. And it can summon itself for free if a fire monster is destroyed uh, when it's in the hand, uh, even if it wasn't there when it happened, or in the graveyard, but it had to be there from the beginning. Three copies of Ponyx. So if a fire monster is destroyed, it can special summon itself while it's in the hand. And then if this card is normal or special summon, you get to add a Fire King spell trap from your deck to your hand. And then if it's destroyed during the next standby phase, you get to add it to your hand. It's just a free recursive card. Three copies of Fire King High Avatar Kirin. Uh, this card is a, like a quick summon, so you can quick effect summon it by popping a fire monster in your hand or on the field. And then when it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, uh, you can special summon a fire king monster from your graveyard except itself, uh, and then destroy one card on the field, which is crazy good. So it can be used in board breaking, which is super handy. Uh, we are playing two copies of Arvada. It's in monster effect negate, so you can destroy a fire monster to negate a monster effect. Really, really useful. There is a spell trap negate one. Uh, I'm just not playing it in this deck, in this list. Um, but and then when it's destroyed, you get to monster reborn a fire king. We are playing Barong. Barong during the standby phase after it was destroyed uh, and sent to the graveyard, you were able to add a fire king monster from your deck to your hand. Fire King card, it's not even a monster, it's a card. Uh, we are playing two copies of Sanctuary. Sanctuary lets you activate Fire King Island directly from the deck and it also protects it, which is super useful. And then we've got two copies of Fire King Island. Uh, Island is super useful for gaining the advantage you need. When it, when it leaves the field, it destroys the field, your field, uh, which is not very bueno, but that's why you want Sanctuary, it protects it. Uh, then we're playing one Sky King, Fire King Skyburn, that's easy for me to say. You can destroy, uh, target any number of Fire King monsters you control and cards your opponent controls. They have to be equal. So if you want to target three Fire Kings, you have to target three cards your opponent controls. It destroys all of them. And then if a, a Fire King card or cards would be you control would be destroyed by card effect, you could banish this card from your graveyard instead. But you can only use one of the effects per turn. This card is just a really nice way to wipe boards. Uh, and maintain advantage in a deck that doesn't care about it. And then one circle of the Fire Kings. Uh, Monster Reborn is a quick play. It's absolutely crazy. Like there's, this card is a part of a combo that will just win you the game in damage. It's craziness. Uh, but that's the Fire King engine. It's fairly large in a Fire King deck, shock horror. Uh, we are also playing three copies of Tri Brigade Fractal. So it's a Foolish Burial for the archetype, and you can banish any number of Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast monsters to Link Summon basically for free. Two copies of Kit, it's the Foolish Burial. Uh, one Nerval, it's the Rota. And one Karis, it's the Special Summon itself. Yeah, we're not running a huge Tri Brigade package, we are also playing the Revolt. This is just to gain advantage, put up uh, multiple interruptions that will allow you to advance your game state in a way that will just crush your opponent in the crackback with a massive advantage that's just really hard to deal with. And to make sure we pair it, we've got three copies of Tanky. Self-explanatory. Next up, two copies of Diabella Star the Black Witch. Shock Horror, we're playing expensive cards. I know, I'm the worst. Anyway, uh, Diabella Star allows you to set a wanted speller trap, a sinful spoil speller trap from your deck on summon by sending another card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Uh, fun fact, you can just send Tanky. Uh, we are also playing three copies of Wanted. You get to add it. Using this during the draw phase is super strong because it plays around things like Droll and Lockbird. 
Uh, and also you get to draw cards off of it. And then we're playing one copy of original Simple Spoil Snake Eye. Card's crazy good. It lets you summon... This is just to summon Ponyx. That's it. It's the only reason it's here. The whole engine is to summon Ponyx. Uh, there are more cards that will be coming out that will allow this card to be even better. Uh, we haven't gotten them yet, but once they come out, you know what they are. Last but certainly not least, Hand Traps. We're playing three Ash and three Imperm. That's it. Um, Ash is here for two reasons. One, it's a great Hand Trap. Two, it's a Fire. And Imperm is because it's a super strong Hand Trap in the format. Next up, Extra Deck. We're playing one copy of Farragut and one copy of Bear Broom. Uh, these are just free advantage gainers. They help you reset your hand to make sure your hand has no like super bricky cards in it. Uh, we're playing one Rugal, the Silver Sheller. Uh, this card's important because you want like you can link into this to allow you to make Charade properly or other cards depending on what your hands are. Uh, we are playing two copies of Charade. Charade is really really strong. You want to play it. You're gonna banish a lot of your fire monsters, so this just allows like, like a lot of your monsters. So being able to get the advantage and search free cards off of it is always helpful. Uh, we are playing one Ancient Warriors, uh, Double Dragon Lords. This is just for like crackback turns or if you open absolutely insane. Uh, we are playing one Hita and one Selene, which kind of gives away the final card, which is Access Code Talker. So Hita, Selene, and Access Code kind of in the same line. Uh, then we've got one copy of Amphibious Swarm Ship Am Ambrilla Whale. Oh my gosh, it's hard to say. Uh, this big guy, he, this card's literally just important because it's a fire. It's completely cuttable. You can play anything else in this spot. This is just what I like to play because I like to have the option to go into a fire. One Apoloza. I like to set up as many interruptions as I can, and Apoloza is an interruption. One Underworld Goddess because I hate unaffected idiots. And then we are playing one Garunix Eternity, Hyung of the Fire Kings, one Dingirsu, and one Superstar Slayer, Typhon Sky Crisis. This card is part of the Circle of Fire Kings. When it's destroyed, you're able to summon uh, up to the material it had. You can target the same number of material it had, summon them out. Craziness, and it wipes the field when it's summoned. So if you're in a simplified game state and you're able to make this, you make this, you wipe their field, you punch them for three, then you circle the Fire Kings, pop this, summon one, use its effect, summon the two that you use to make it, kill them. Uh, Dingirsu, because it's the single best rank eight in the game, I don't care what anybody thinks, and Typhon, because it's Typhon. Lastly is the side deck. So if you feel that the Tri Brigade stuff is not helping you, the extra deck is pretty strong on its own, like it's just got some really good inherent cards, and there's some changes we can ultimately make, but if you want to simplify the game and then just beat them with the Fire Kings and the uh, Simple Spoil stuff and you want to play a lot of hand traps, I'm just playing a bunch of hand traps. So we got three Droll, three Niv, three Availer, three Evenly, and then the final three cards are just two Prospies and an Arvada. And this is just because, like, what it does is it allows me to just play this and banish the Tri Brigade stuff that we're not going to be seeing anyway because we're going to side out of the Tri Brigades. And it allows you to smoke screen into the deck that ultimately is a different version of the deck that we're playing. So I like it. It's fun. Uh, it can also be very funny. So, but let's, that is my Fire King Tri Brigade deck profile. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. Let me know what you would do differently in the comment section down below. I know this deck is going to change in the next couple of weeks and months. I don't care, this is super fun. It's got some really budget options. And if you absolutely wanna just go over to the top, you can cut Tri Brigades completely. It opens up a ton of space for you to be able to make the deck however you wish. It's super versatile, so just have fun with it. And until next time, lads, good fun. Have luck.